no life without order. Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Charred Council. Ever wanted to be a horseman of the apocalypse? Want to dual wield scythes? And maybe have a really cool gruff voice provided by Michael Wincott? If you've answered yes to all of the above, then you need look no further than Darksiders 2, the amazing sequel to 2008 Darksiders, created by Vigil Games. And here it is running on the Xbox 360, showing off its lush graphics and amazing graphic novel style. Uh, I want to be a horseman with scythes, but, but not the voice. Get lost. Darksiders 2 begins right where the first one left off. Brother War has been blamed for bringing forth the end of the human realm when no call was given for such an event, and is currently serving his time at the foot of the Charred Council. I must restore humanity to redeem War. His brother Death, our main anti-hero, is convinced War is innocent, and so sets off on an epic journey across all realms in search of the Tree of Life to save humanity and redeem his brother's fate. <gasps> What begins when you hit start is truly a special game. The first was amazing and this sequel is far superior, right from the word go. A lot of care, thought and amazing design has gone into every aspect of how this game looks and feels and you get that the instant you start Death's Journey. The gameplay is a powerful blend of many games that have appeared in the past. The first and most obvious style is a pinch of God of War, with big combos and excellent weapon handling. The skill tree is straight from Dante's Inferno and being able to equip different armor, gloves, greaves and weapons is a small nod to Oblivion. It's a linear slash open world experience that is incredibly similar to the Zelda franchise, especially as you ride a horse through the open world areas of the realms. These lead you to dungeons that are rammed to the brim with complex puzzles designed to perfection to tax your noggin, and usually ending in a large boss battle. One of the boss battles is incredibly similar to the game Shadows of the Colossus where you battle huge giants on horseback. And there are many different ways of bringing these bosses down, which most of the time is a puzzle in itself. Do I really have to have the voice? Hushington! Back to the fighting. You can carry two weapon sets at once. Your scythes are your standard attack weapons, then you have a hard attack, which can consist of slow swinging bone shattering axes, hammers, glaives or maces. Or you could assign lightning fast but less powerful claws, arm blades or gauntlets. This mix already makes the combat amazing, with tons of choice on how to carve up your foes. Add to this the fact you have magic and special skills on top, and you've got a real contender for what I'd say is the best combat system in a game since God of War. The magic is a mix of magical shields, summoning ghouls to fight for you, or even sending a murder of crows to peck your foes... toes... <laughs> I'm not great with poetry. Each can be upgraded by spending skill points, which you receive by levelling up or collecting relics, which in turn you sell to special NPCs within the realms. Wow, there's so much to explain and go through that I'll have to let you discover some of the finer details when you play this for yourselves. There's just so much to it. The game is huge and there are well over 20 hours of gameplay to be had. More even, if you complete all the side quests, find all the relics, upgrade all skills and magic, and find all the realm keys which open a secret tomb in each realm- Ah, there's so much! It's not that I've got anything against Michael Wincott, but- But SILENCE! The sound is also worthy of note in this amazing title. The big footsteps of giant bosses were literally shaking game tank towers from the foundations of our game capture palace. Thanks to Mr. Dolby 5.1 and Michael Wincott's dark ethereal death voice sending shivers down the spine. Your secrets die with you, old fool. Yeah, it's not a bad voice, it's just... Hang on. Game Capture Palace? Don't you mean your living room? Yeah, the Game Capture Palace. If you like. 
Really, if you adore puzzles, great combat, and a horse made of dead angels and cold swirling curse fire... Is that true? Well, I'd like to think so, but it's not official. Oh. Continue. Huge boss battles, brilliant voice acting, a great storyline, superb environments and characters, then go out and buy this now. You can even get the limited edition version, which includes Death's Mask, which I must say looks amazing on the shelf. It's certainly worth the price tag. Every tiny bit of detail has been rendered in glorious HD and put together into a spectacular, not to be missed game that will be remembered and replayed many, many times. So what are you waiting for? Go get your scythes, hop on your cursed horse and ride through the realms of the undead to save humanity and your brother's fate. Or just pop to the shops and get the game. Hey, uh, remember when you were funny? What? Me either. Huh. Comment, rate, subscribe and share this vid in that order or we'll turn into a cookery channel called Lamb Shank TV. Do it now! <laughs> Lamb Shank. <laughs> Stay tuned at www.gametank.tv or else, you jive turkeys. Right, I'm off to cook some sausages. Uh, yeah? Yeah, I'm not going to eat them, just going to cook them.